here's an unstretched rubber cord that is stretched by the force. The force, they plot, no? The graph of force against extension of this rubber doing doing thing that you're pulling apart. So the force is slowly increased from zero and you follow this path, la, this upper path, causing the thing to extend. But then when you let go, you reduce the force, notice that the, 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 there's a different path on the graph. It goes the bottom path, okay? What is represented by this shaded area in between? So this is talking about... What's the word? Elastic energy, elastic potential energy, also known as strain energy. So the very first area that you want, I want you to look at is when you are pulling this thing up to this point up here, there's a certain area under the graph, right? That's this entire area under the graph. This is the work done to extend this rubber. You put in that energy. But will you get all this energy back? Not exactly, because when you see what happened oh, in the second part, when you let go, you follow a slightly different curve. The first curve is on top here. Okay, area under this curve is the work done. Second curve is a bit lower already. So the area under this curve is another type of area. So let's shade this green one. So this green area mm, here is... We can call it in simple terms, the energy that you got back. So all, all in the proper terms, work done by the rubber, aka the energy that you got back. You know, when you compress a spring, you squeeze it by this much, when you let go, the energy should come back. Ah. But in this case, it does not seem to be the case. So this is actually smaller, lesser. Why? Because there's an energy loss in between, and that is this middle part. So you put in so much energy, but you only get back a little bit. Where the energy go? This is what we call energy lost. The rubber gets hot when you stretch it multiple times. So what is represented by the shaded area? This is what they're referring to. Elastic energy stored in the rubber cord? Mm, no. That will be one of the blue ones, I suppose. Energy that cause plastic deformation? How do we know it's plastic deformation or not? Cause plastic deformation? Uh, not, not exact. This is not plastic deformation. How you know, you see? It returns to no extension. So that's 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 not plastic deformation already. This elastic. Hello, rubber band is elastic. Energy is dissipated as heat. Yes, we talk about energy lost. So this is the best choice. But let's look at the rest. Work done to extend rubber cord. Uh, we talk about this one here on the top, right? So that's our work done to extend rubber cord. No, 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 no. That's not energy stored in the rubber cord. I don't know. That's a weird way. You can store some. Ah, this will be number two. Ah, that's correct, correct. You put in this energy. Some of it is stored in the rubber and you can get that back. That's number two. So this is this one. Loss as heat. That's the third area inside here. So this one. Okay, so that's all you can think of this kind of elastic rubber kind of graph. They do tend to ask quite a few statements like that. But that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.